Hello and welcome to Kina Plays The Medium. I know pretty much nothing about this game. Let's go. <laughs> well, ha don't have me, don't have me adjust the brightness to the desired level when you're not even going to tell me what I'm adjusting in comparison to. Is there anything there that I'm not supposed to see? I mean, either way, it looks pretty damn washed out. And so... Hang on. Isn't that default higher than where it started? And why is the default so low? Weird. Okay. <laughs> yes, definitely show the subtitles. Um. Oh, good! Another game that actually shows me what, the, what size the subtitles will actually be. This has got to become the default. They have got to keep doing this. It's so helpful. Um. Yeah, I don't think I like super dark background, but I think a little bit of a background will be helpful. Speak a name? Oh! Actually, that, that could be handy if I can't tell who the hell's talking. <laughs> And that could be useful as well, yeah. Yeah, no. Bold just, yeah. No. Supposedly having bold text is supposed to help with dyslexics reading it, but um, it doesn't seem to help me. If anything, bold makes it a bit worse. <laughs> well then. Now we can actually start the game. <laughs> Holy crap. Loading screens exist again. Why? <laughs> so, we're fi we're finally into the next generation of games and loading screens are back. <laughs> it all starts with a dead girl. Well, at least it's voice so I don't have to read out the subtitles to you guys this time. One lonesome foggy night, shit happened. <laughs> run, Forest, run. Oh, sorry, run through the forest. <laughs> Stranger danger. Oh hell, Nemesis on danger. <laughs> now I wonder how many hours into the game until we get some context for that. <laughs> Ever since I was little, I've had this... dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. Oh, okay, we're getting contact straight away then. The scent of pines. And then... The gunshot. Gee, I wonder if it's a repressed memory. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd the weird bullet si shaped happened. scar on my forehead. Part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. I also didn't understand algebra. No wonder people used to think I was strange. I also lick walls. That day when the phone rang, 
It was the hardest day of my life. That's pretty. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. To dress him up for his last journey. Put him in a suit. I mean, it's father. dreary as shit, but that's some pretty rain work. Just the things he well, did every day. the puddles are anyway. Looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. And then just yeet the ashtray out of the room. I was almost ready. I just had to find Aha, this gameplay. high clip. Okay, so small things to show where things are. Royal of the Holy Guardian Angels. Okay. Ah. Okay. So we're either pregnant or we've got Goldstones. And a loopy. Cool. <laughs> and if it hasn't been made obvious already, I'm probably not going to take anything seriously. Yeah. Nice to see you, too. Well, if you believe in the supernatural, you're a dumbass for having a black cat. Seriously. How many times is that going to cross your path? Meow. Yes, it's a food bowl. I shall give the cat the key. Or not. <laughs> Looks nourishing. Yeah, give the damn cat its food. Why did you open it if you weren't going to give the cat its food? You just decided to torment your pet by opening the can and then buggering off for a smoke? Here you go. What's your face? Lady, you're a dick. Glad to see you're still kicking around. Hmm. Decent fear. Seriously? I just got an achievement called Famished Feline. This lady's an asshole. And I don't even like cats. I can't believe <laughs> it's all still here. Ah, I don't mind cats. The nicest stroke, though, I wouldn't have one as a pet. But definitely a dog person. Okay, I take it that maybe I'll be taking photos during the game then? I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Oh, or I'm going to expose it now. Okay. Um, eliminate five seconds, dip it in... Ah, I can read it there. Dip it in multigrade for three, dip in stop for three, and fix it for three. Yeah, but which is which? I mean, you haven't got labels on them, is it... Am I going right to left, or left to right? Any sort of clue here? I mean, judging by the layout, I would think right to left. Ah, yeah, I think it's right to left because that definitely seems like the illuminator. <laughs> okay, so five seconds. Yes, I know. I picked up the thing that I just picked up. Was the last 
photo I took of you, Jack. Shoot. Cool. Okay, that, that was interesting. I, I don't think I've ever had, had to properly develop photos in a game before. I mean, in Resident Evil 2 you could develop those film reels, but it was just press X to do. <laughs> there was no process to it. Interesting. Symbolic funeral of the Sierra Mine. Oh, and apparently we're in 1999. Okay. Well, the problem is I've got no idea what will be actually important things to read. And yes, you would think that she'd need to dry it after that, wouldn't you, Samo? I mean, the whole thing about um, pegging them up on the the lines thing. Plus, I thought that the drying process was what would be drying it out. Uh, I was um, 14 back in 99. <laughs> uh, uh, Minus from this year's of mine come to work today as usual, but instead of flash, yeah, flashlights and pickaxes, they carried a black casket adorned with lit candles, a symbol of their company's demise. Okay, this is not the death of our mines, say members of the Sierra's of mine rescue committee. We will not let our jobs be buried. This cas casket is meant for the Vistula Coal Company. Well, that's a threat. <laughs> The miners have also announced that they will come to work tomorrow. They refuse to accept that the shares of mine was liquidated. Meanwhile, their colleagues continue to pr protest outside of the company headquarters in... Tai Chi? Building a symbolic wall in the entrance. Each day they add another layer of bricks. There are only five left until the wall reaches the ceiling. NATO's new mission. Projecting stability in a post-Cold War world. That's their new mission? In 99, that's the new mission of NATO. Game, do you know when the Cold War ended? Earlier today, US President Bill Clinton delivered a major foreign policy address to commemorate the fall of the Berlin Wall. Pretty sure that wasn't 99! <laughs> the president c commended the progress that was made in the last decade towards strengthening democracy in Central and Eastern Europe, while also outlining the challenges that lie ahead. The US leader also em em eh, emphasised the fact that his country's leadership and involvement have been critical in U to Europe's peaceful transformation. Yeah, sure they have. President Clinton's vision of an undivided, democratic and peaceful Europe has now been further, furthered by another key achievement, the induction of Poland, Hungary and the Czech Republic into the North Atlantic Treaty Organisation. Oh, so that's what NATO stands for. I never actually looked into what it meant. <laughs> by doing so, the NATO leaders are hope, hoping to strengthen these young democracies, ensuring their further contribution to the security and stability of Europe. Maybe this is an alternate timeline game. I mean, surely... Putting that in 99 doesn't feel right. Maybe it was 89 or something, but... I mean, if... I mean, it fits with Clinton, but... The rest of it doesn't feel right. Oh, I just realised it's... Basically tank controls. Well, I'm sure it'll change a bit once I can... Ah! That's a bit too sudden of a camera movement there. Ah, right. The tie clip. Pull yourself together, Marianne. Okay. Interesting. Mmm. Detailed examination of 1984. It's way too fast of a camera angle change. So is there anything else in here that I missed? 
I don't know, because I can't actually walk past those bits of furniture for some reason. And now I'm stuck on a door. <laughs> oh, that's a good sign for things to come. Jack's room. It's like he never... And apparently, no, you cannot pet the cat. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. I used to think I'd never fit in. That's Jack. creepy. He didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Yes. The touchy man said you're special. I really hope that's your dad. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yes, to my full agree, he looks like he just wants to bang it and sniff her hair. His name is not Jack, it's Bernie. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Now, where's the back and the cat button? <laughs> Come on, Jack, where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. Okay. There you are. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't Oh, happen. yeah, you're right. It's Biden, not Bernie. Yeah. Yeah, either way, they both look like they're not long for this world. <laughs> and, well, now that I've got that, um, is there anything sneakily hidden in rooms that I've already looped in? I'm sure there's probably collectibles a million in this game. Huh. Okay. So, with this I can see my own legs through the walls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's got that ones hung up, so... Eh. But, but also... Sh I didn't think that dipping the thing in made the picture immediately show up. I thought you had to dip it in and then leave it to hang up for the picture to slowly appear as it dries out, basically. But she just got the picture without even drying it at all. Also, either close the fucking door or turn this light off. You're gonna destroy all of those photos. You stupid lady. Or at least that's what Hollywood makes it seem like. That normal light will absolutely destroy the pictures. I don't know if that's real or if that's just a TV thing. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. My oldest ah. family heirloom. Okay. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, Pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. Ooh. Second degree, second degree burns at age three. Ouch. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. Eh. 
Dear Mr Orkin, we must request you to attend the next parent-teacher meeting, as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marion gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. We understand it was her way of consoling a fe fellow student, but we're sure you realise that this behaviour is inappropriate, to say the least. Given that this is not the first behavioural problem we've informed you about, we believe it's high time for us to meet and talk about her future in our school. No freaks allowed! Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them, to ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. Really hate ticking clocks. The noise creeps me out. Always go digital. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. Don't Damn! Know why, really. I'm some I big guess ass butterflies. To make me happy. <laughs> Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Okay, so now what? Go in that door that wasn't opening. I'm guessing that's the front door. We lived upstairs from Jack's Ew. home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Yeah, that is a that really sounds... lovely if it wasn't for that, building. I may never have learned to use my powers. Also, close the damn door! What about the cat? And thieves. Okay, don't. Screw it, I guess you're never going back to that house. That's, that's a bit of a strange feeling, camera, just then. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. So I'm not allowed to use the vision whenever she's talking. I guess because it'd mess with the audio. Lovely. Already investigated twenty five objects. Jackson Doesn't Jackson. feel like it's been that many. Here it is. Yoink. Near and deceased, Adam Nowak. Okay. Um, anything of any interest? Nope. So why couldn't... Oh, right. So 
the bit at the very end was the pegged on thing. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. God, he, lo he just looks like a major creeper. There's just something about the about the pictures of him with her that is just ew. I hope that's what they were going for, and we weren't supposed to feel sympathetic to it. <laughs> Something pop up. Oh no, it's just the floor. That's not how doors work. You only opened one side of it just then. Maybe if you'd used both of your arms, but... Come on. Yeah, it's... It's weird to be playing such a slow game sure on stream as well. Hopefully it'll pick up later on. Hey, Jack. First, I need an actual tie for him. Okay. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> that is hideous! That's like the sort of thing you'd see in an English boarding school. God damn, that's horrible. You know the guy's not eight, right? Oh, right. So as to combine it. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. I was just trying to get out of that screen first. Because I was thinking I'd have to put the tie on him first and then the clip. I didn't expect this to be easy. I never learned how to tie I a tie. I don't know what to expect. When things get personal, it burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. But am I? <laughs> oh, just everything about that looked wrong. I mean, he's a creeper. He's got a check, like a checkered jacket, which is hideous in the first place. Get a solid black one. They're nice. And that tie. Again, a pure black one would look so much better on the guy. Plus, clearly this all seems like he must have been a funeral director, so... It would have fit the image. Oh, can't you people read? The sign says closed. <gasps> Ooh, are we actually getting... Something? Come on! Interest. <laughs> Pick up. Pick up quickly. What the fuck? Nope! Disappeared after I had a look at my supervision. Yeah, the way the things kept blurring towards the screen just then was really unpleasant.
but not in a psychological way, just in a it looked gross way. <laughs> what the hell? I'm not sure if I saw that just then, but I think I just saw a buddy. Guess you felt it too, huh? And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. I aged 50 years. <laughs> oh, where is that star notebook? Okay, so it's side by side. Interesting. Marianne? Marianne, are you... Are you crying, my child? I didn't think he could look even worse, but he does. It's fine, Jack. Now, now you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Eh? Why is there a chunk of your head missing? And why are you wearing a mask? I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, know, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. It's not important. You... You are crying. What's wrong, dear? <gasps> Why is it so cold in here? <laughs> I know. Hell's supposed to be hot. But you're gonna find out. Don't worry about it. It's time to get some rest. Oh, there you Yeah. No. Oh, I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're gonna be all right? Nope. Yes, Jack. It's gonna be fine. You know, I promised myself once I, I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Oh. <laughs> no risky stuff, then. All right? All right, Jack. Be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Always. No thanks, I'd rather forget. That sounded even more creepy in light of those pictures. No matter how kindly you just said it. Ow, bright! Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. No, I'd imagine it I doesn't make things easier. The place where he was over. looked like the version hell, of hell from Constantine. Like hell. I love you too, Daddy. Just a blasted hellscape. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Then you were a dumbass as a kid. Divided. <laughs> Torn between two realities. <laughs> too well. well <laughs> yes, I probably shouldn't have said daddy one. during it. <laughs> Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look. I've watched you this from the shadows. Good. You need 
to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. I know where he hid your fursuit. I you to trust, me. trust you. I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Nemo Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Help Hello? me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Hello? You're my only hope. Shit. Okay, and now we're into stock footage. Why? You know video games don't need an intro credits, don't you? Hell, almost no films even do intro credits anymore. Which is kind of sad, really, because there used to be some really Im imaginative ones. But still, what the hell? This is one weird game so far. And there hasn't been a lot of games so far. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with that, Tomo. It is incredibly pretentious. And the amusing thing is that I was going for that word even before you added that second line. I just really hope that the gameplay actually supports the pretentiousness and it doesn't just feel like, hey, we wanted to make a film but no one would finance it, so here, have a game. And off I went, on nothing but a hunch, a call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way... Oh yeah, films sure are massively know. losing to gaming in money-wise. But on the other hand, how much of that is down to games and how much of that is down to predatory practices gouging children for their parents' credit cards. Resort. Yeah, that's true. Right Cinemas have been dying a long, slow death, which then suddenly became very quick during COVID. We'll see if they come back pretty much at all, really, with the simultaneous release things that are going on. Though the, though the fact that movies are going to specific streaming sites instead of more available things is kind of an issue. I mean... You don't even get HBO Max in the UK. Anyone home? So how the hell are we supposed I to see so. those simultaneous releases here then? What's it going to go? What are they going to go to here? 
or are they just not going to? Is it going to be, sorry, if you're not in the US, you don't get to watch it at home, You've, you're still going to have to go to the cinema. Okay, so, postcards. You'd love it here, my dear. Amazing day room for kids and free art lessons. Lots of families and the hotel's huge. Never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me. Miss you. Okay. I take it postcards are going to be the collectible of the game then. And I can't activate my spirit vision. Okay, you'd better give me some rules to this game soon. I was expecting to be using that the whole time. Hello? Thomas? Okay... Ah, give... Why is there no move quicker button? This is way too slow and deliberate. I'm guessing Front I can't get in this up. Yeah. Tight. So I've got to go around the outside then, I guess. Way. Do I have a map? Um, well, let's see. No, just items and memos. And settings. You want to keep me out, Neva? You're going to have to do better than that. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government owned. Finally! Resort. Until one day it just stopped. And so an urban legend was born. The Neva Hooray, I can move at a shuffle. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. Yeah, she's clearly just abandoning her vehicle. Hmm. Left or right? Let's try left. This old thing here. A cemetery, perhaps? Oh, what a mess. People can be such bastards sometimes. No wonder history keeps biting us in the ass. Yeah, lovely. In memory of the victims of World War II, for the daughters and sons of the land. Here they rest, buried as they fell, to remind us that the whole of it, that the whole earth is their grave. Eee. Well, that looks like the roof of a building over there. I guess I have to circle around to it, though. Okay, I was wrong about the score on her forehead. She's been shot in the cheek. Huh. Hello. Wow, that's really helpful. I can see the footprints behind me, but not in front of me. That's not how vision works. Surely not even spiritual vision. 
Ah, finally, some are appearing in front. Barely. Hang on, wherever they've disappeared to. Ah, there we go. this okay So I can combine it, combine the two together. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Was really thinking I wouldn't be able to run while using the vision. Also, I really wish this vision was toggle, not hold down. Might be my way in. Warning, due to the recently unearthed remains, renovation works have been suspended pending archaeological examination. Lovely. So we've got a disturbed burial site. Something happened here. Explains the ghosts, I guess. Don't know about you, but I think I would have had my chest to the things that could be scratching me there, not me back to it. Just so that I could split would try to well. breathe in and if a avoid place had them. A story to tell? Well, I guess I was there to listen. Wow, this is weird. This is going to take some getting used to. Is it back? That's weird. Why would why would the noise come and go? I mean, it never came and went last time. It just came and stayed until I did something about it. Weird. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. Hmm. Happens it's if painful. I only do it with one of them. Like even in the oh, it automatically darkness, does it for both. Light can linger. Lonely. So what's the, what's the point of giving me two different input prompts if I could do re 
with just one. Though I was going to somehow split the character then. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? Okay, so the weird mushroom stuff on her arm is an indication of how much energy she's got. Maybe it's just like a permanent source of energy and you can just go back there to refuel whenever you need it or something, Tamo. I'm not sure. I expected it to disappear once I collected it as well, but... Eh. I mean, we don't know what powers she's got yet. Oh, in any case, I'm going to use that to power up this thing. Energy, energy, right? Oh, so that worked. Good for you, Marion. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. Okay. Ah, and using that spirit blast used up half of the energy. Yeah, that's. I, I was planning on going back to refill. <laughs> that's why I used. Why I tried it out again just to see if I really did only have the two shots. Though I should try it while there's nothing that no lights at all to see if you can do anything when you've got no power. Nope. Okay, so I've got two shots of that, whatever it is. <laughs> That was really unpleasant. So there I was, existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. Let's hope this game doesn't pull a cyberpunk and cause seizures in people with um, epilepsy. Fire hazard. Seriously though, with the footprints it would really help if I could see them at a r actual range. I mean, just barely appearing just then. Until you're right on top of it, you can... You can... Yeah. Maybe later on I'll get stuff that'll extend my vision further. Um, have I gone the wrong way now? I'm not seeing any more footprints. Yeah, I think I went the wrong way. Well, that's helpful, they just stop. Are there some there? No, I don't think there were. A 
really creepy monkey toy. Are you okay? Yeah, you do see them in quite a lot of things, that specific toy. And at sudden random moments they just start clashing the symbols together as a cheap jump scare. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. That was a surprise. Definitely something. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. Yes. It's only a matter of time. Even the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images, feelings left behind. Do 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 Hello? Anybody in there? No. Locked. Obviously. There's got to be another way. Where is a handy brick when you need one? I think there's a broken window up there. Alternatively, there's really big windows all around you that you could just smash. Well, I've already proven my prowess as a dumpster climber. Shit, the handle's missing. Maybe I could replace it with something. Huh? Yeah. Seriously, what is with that flickering... Is it... Sort of looks like there's a child there, but I can't tell. It's weird. Someone's flickering anyway.
Um, I don't think I've got any item. No, I've got no items at all at the moment. Newer Resort, summer of 1969 inauguration. The first sec secretary of the Polish United Workers Party, Comrade. I have no idea how to say that. Um, Lady Slaw? <laughs> Lady Slaw Gamulka, some like that. Honored Krakow and took part in an official inauguration of the Newer Resort, the new centre of the Socialist Joy and Recreation. Lovely. Working class of Lesser Poland family, I think that is. Maybe? Or well, finally? Ah, working class of Lesser Poland finally has a place to spend family time in the bosom of nature. The main building and the lo lodgings are comfortable yet simple, as simple are the socialistic, their socialistic spirit and philosophy. Special thanks to the architect, future manager, and a com committed party member, Mr. Wreck the fuck it, <laughs> whom the newer resort would be impossible to design, construct, and build. No, without whom. Yeah. That's it. Mr. Wrecky Cower. Fuck knows. <laughs> The 25th anniversary of establishing Polish People's Republic. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, well, we'll find out how the hell to get into this building after the break next time on Kino Plays the Medium. New episodes upload daily to the YouTube channel, 9 p.m. UK time. Thank you for joining me. Take care and goodbye. <laughs>